Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a science fiction film. Honey, I Shrump the Kids. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Teen Amy is on a call while preparing breakfast for her father and younger brother Nick. Nick is an inventor at heart like his father and loves tinkering with robotics. Using a scale model of his father's current project, Nick zaps the family dog. However, since this is merely a model, it has no effect on the dog. The father, Wayne, is working on his patented shrink ray when Amy calls him from the kitchen, saying breakfast is ready. Wayne then types a message onto his keyboard, which Amy receives in note form downstairs. The noise from the attic wakes up his neighbor. He hurriedly gets out of bed to fight Wayne for waking him up, but gets stopped by his youngest son Ron, who hits him on the head with a super glue coated toy arrow. Meanwhile, Nick goes up to his dad in the attic to call him for dinner. Nick shows Wayne his shrink ray model, but Wayne merely shrugs him off as he intends to finish the shrink ray before his conference in a few hours. Nick hesitantly leaves his father alone. As Nick leaves, Wayne decides to test the shrink ray. He tests it on an apple, but the experiment fails and the apple explodes instead, covering him in sweet fruit bits. The dog licks up the bits from his face. Back at the neighbor's house, his oldest son Russ is hesitant to join their family fishing trip. The father gets upset at this, but his wife pulls him aside and tells him that Russ was removed from the football team and might need a couple of days to get back on his feet. Amy finishes cooking breakfast and tells Nick to eat. Upon seeing burnt and blackened food on the plate, Nick passes on breakfast. Amy gives the food to their dog instead. Wayne's breakfast is also cut short when he realizes that he has to leave for the conference immediately. As he prepares to leave, Amy reminds him of a few errands that he has to run. Before Wayne can get in his car and drive away, his wife calls home. Wayne tells her that everything will change after the conference, and they agree to talk again later that day. The call ends, and Wayne tells the children to clean the house for their mom's arrival before leaving. Nick calls over his friend to mow the lawn with a remote control lawnmower. The friend agrees, but tells Nick that he won't be able to do it until the afternoon. At the same time, the neighbor prepares for the fishing trip. Russ reluctantly helps him pack. Russ and his father end up arguing about his lack of interest in his father's hobbies. While waiting to leave, Ron plays with his baseball in the yard. However, he accidentally swings too hard, and the ball goes through the attic window in Wayne's house. The ball accidentally lands on the shrink ray, inadvertently turning it on. The shrink ray then proceeds to fire randomly at the objects inside the room. Wayne's couch is also shrunk down to microscopic proportions. Ron gets caught by Russ, who forces him to apologize. They go to Wayne's house and are met by Amy and Nick. After explaining and apologizing, Ron goes up to the attic with Nick to retrieve his baseball, oblivious to the live shrink ray inside. The unsuspecting children enter the attic and get zapped by the shrink ray. Curious as to what's taking their siblings so long, Amy and Russ head up to the attic and get zapped as well. They are reunited with their shrunken younger brothers on the attic floor. The dog enters the attic and barks loudly, almost deafening the kids. After sending it away, the phone suddenly rings downstairs. Meanwhile, Wayne presents his shrink ray at the conference. He tries to explain it to his peers, but gets dismissed and laughed off, as he lacks evidence to prove that the shrink ray actually works. Heartbroken, Wayne goes home instead. He finds the phone ringing, and no one is there to answer it. The messy dog suddenly appears and barks at Wayne, prompting Wayne to follow it up to the attic. Fortunately, before Wayne can get shot by the shrink ray, Ron's baseball falls onto the off switch. The kids see Wayne and try to call his attention, but their tiny voices are not loud enough to be heard. Wayne tries to sit back on his couch, but finds it missing. He finds the broken attic window and finally gets fed up. He snaps and starts destroying the shrink ray. Parts and pieces fall to the floor, threatening to crush the kids. They run away, but Wayne begins sweeping up the mess in the attic. They try to escape the broom, but eventually get swept up and tossed into a trash can. Wayne then takes out the trash and dumps it just outside the yard. Fortunately, the kids manage to cut open the trash bag and escape. Upon seeing the giant grass, they assume that they are stuck outside in the yard. While walking back to the house, a giant butterfly flies by, startling the kids into hiding under a mushroom. The wife arrives home, and Wayne tells her that he failed his presentation at the conference. He promises to leave his ambitions behind and finally look for a real job. They notice the kids missing, but think only that they are out with friends. Wayne tells her that his couch in the attic has mysteriously disappeared. Meanwhile, the kids continue walking back to the house. They are scared by Nick's old toy dinosaur and find a small puddle that seems like a river in their size, blocking their path. Suddenly, Nick remembers that dogs have good hearing. The group whistles to call the messy dog outside and have it bring them back into the house. Their plan succeeds, and the dog hears them. 
The kids climb some flowers for a better vantage point as the dog heads to their location. However, Ron's cat emerges and scares the dog shit out of the dog, driving it away and leaving the kids stranded in the yard. The commotion between the pets also causes Nick to lose his grip and fall into a flower. He is allergic to pollen, but is safe thanks to the pollen being too big to breathe in. Suddenly, a swarm of bees arrive and attack Nick. Russ jumps on the fat bee to save Nick, but ends up getting himself and Nick dragged away. They are taken for a ride around the yard. The bee even brings them close to both Wayne and his neighbor, who both try to swat them away, unknowing that their kids are riding the bee. Eventually, the bee crashes into the yard, separating Nick and Russ from Amy and Ron. Meanwhile, the mother gets worried and leaves to look for the kids at the mall. At the same time, Wayne realizes that the bat he used to swat the bee away doesn't belong to any of his kids. He runs up to the attic and finds his couch shrunken on the floor. He finally realizes what happened and begins looking for the kids. Wayne sees the broom and correctly guesses that he accidentally swept them away. He looks at the trash bag outside and sees the hole they escaped from. Wayne then searches through the yard, careful not to step on the grass and risk trampling the kids. To be sure that he doesn't step on anyone, Wayne gets up on stilts and searches for the kids using binoculars. However, he trips on the garden hose and accidentally turns it on. The massive water droplets fall on the kids, and they look for a place to hide in. Amy and Ron run to higher ground to avoid drowning in the water from the garden hose. Amy spots Nick and is calling him over when a droplet falls behind Amy and knocks her into the deep muddy water below. She immediately drops below the surface, prompting Russ to rush into the water and look for her. Russ eventually pulls her out onto dry land and successfully resuscitates her. Wayne finally turns off the garden hose and resumes looking for the kids in the grass. This time, he suspends himself from the clotheslines and electrical wires to avoid trampling on the kids. After a short break, the kids clean themselves up in a small pond. Amy and Russ begin to notice their hormone feelings for each other. They continue walking back to the house, unaware that Wayne is hovering closely behind them, trying to look for them. They find a giant discarded cookie on the ground and run to it. They feast on it when an ant suddenly appears and forces them to run away. Suddenly, Nick suggests that they conquer it and ride it back to the house. The boys then begin to tackle the ant. Unfortunately, the ant overpowers them and throws them aside. It is only when Amy offers the ant a piece of the cookie that it becomes friendly. Ron manages to get on top of the ant and steer it while the rest of them get pulled behind on a leaf sled. Meanwhile, Wayne's search efforts are interrupted by the messy dog. It pulls on the counterweight and releases it, sending Wayne flying away from the lawn. This alerts the neighbor and his wife next door, who are calling the police to file a missing person report. Similarly, Wayne's wife arrives home a few minutes later and calls the police to do the same. The cops show up at the neighbor's place. They assume that the kids likely ran away from home. However, the neighbor tells them that they wouldn't have any reason to run away. His wife tells him his bad parenting habits and the pressure that he puts on Russ might have caused the kids to run away. Afterward, the cops head back to their car, where they receive another missing persons report, this time from Wayne's wife. While they head over to Wayne's house, Wayne tells his wife that the kids are in the backyard and that he accidentally shrumped them with his invention. The police arrive, but Wayne dismisses them and reassures them that their kids are playing safely in the yard. Wayne's wife faints behind him. After a few hours, while others fall asleep, Ron takes a break and feeds the ant. The other kids wake up and they decide to let the ant go and walk the rest of the way. They remove the harness, but the ant insists on staying close behind them. Night falls, and the couple continue looking for the kids in the grass. Russ notices them as he smokes a cigarette outside. Afterward, he flicks his cigarette into Wayne's yard, and it lands near the kids. After taking a look, Russ and Ron discover that their father had lied when he told them he quit smoking. Nevertheless, they use the remaining embers to light makeshift torches. A few minutes later, the couple overhear the neighbor and his wife arguing. They decide to tell them that their kids have been accidentally shrunk. They are skeptical, but get convinced after Wayne shows them his shrunken couch. At the same time, the kids decide to spend the night inside a Lego brick. Nick and Ron share the top bunk while Amy takes the bottom, and Russ sleeps on the ground. The two older siblings talk and continue to develop hormone feelings for each other. Amy eventually kisses Russ. All of a sudden, a giant scorpion appears and attacks them. They all manage to run away, except for Ron being stuck inside the Lego. He screams for help while fending off the scorpion. Ron finally escapes the Lego when Russ distracts the scorpion. However, the scorpion faces Russ again. Before it can attack, the ant appears and protects Ron. The two insects fight, but the ant is driven to a corner and fatally stung. 
The scorpion then throws it aside. The kids manage to drive the scorpion away. Ron rushes to his pet ant and consoles it as it passes away. The following morning, as the kids prepare to leave the Lego brick, Nick's friend arrives to mow the lawn. He turns on the remote control to the lawnmower, oblivious to the fact that he is endangering his friend's life. The wind and vibrations force the kids to run away. They seek shelter inside an earthworm cave, which Nick reassures them is safe to stay in. At that moment, the couple are in the attic fixing the shrink ray. They overhear the mowing sound and rush to stop it. They scream at the friend to stop, but his headphones mask their voices. Finally, they catch his attention and tell them to stop. He parks the lawnmower exactly above the cave. The whirling blades begin to suck up Nick. The other kids grab him and try to pull him down, but the wind is too strong. Amy loses her foothold, and they all get sucked into the mower. Fortunately, the parents manage to grab the remote and turn it off before the kids can get chopped into pieces. The kids are instead flung to the side. As the friend is sent home, the kids try to call the couple's attention. They fail to be heard, and the two adults walk back into the house. Ron begins to panic and loses hope, but the messy dog appears and saves them. They grab onto its fur and are finally brought inside the house. The dog jumps up on the dinner table, where Wayne is eating his breakfast. However, Nick falls into Wayne's cereal. The rest of the kids run onto the table to stop Wayne, but fail to call his attention. Wayne unknowingly scoots up Nick and goes to eat him, but the dog bites Wayne's ankle and stops him. At that moment, Wayne notices Nick in the milk. Nick points to the other kids on the table. They all rejoice as they can finally return to normal size. They call Russ and Ron's parents over and tell them that they will be reversing the shrinking process. However, Wayne is worried since his experiments have only been done on apples and they have always failed. The kids tell him what happened, but Wayne cannot hear them. They successfully act out the information and Wayne discovers that the ball blocked the laser and reduced its temperature, therefore avoiding the explosion that usually happens in his experiments. After some adjustments, Wayne tells them that they are ready to reverse the shrinking. Russ expresses his concern and demands Wayne test the shrink ray on him first. Wayne zaps him and successfully shrinks him. He zaps him again and successfully undoes the shrinking. While waiting to get zapped by the shrink ray, Russ musters his courage to ask Amy out on a date. Amy agrees. They hold hands as they get zapped and return to normal size. They all share a tearful reunion. The neighbor holds out his hand and Wayne shakes it, signaling the start of a friendship between the two families. Months later, they celebrate Thanksgiving together. They eat an enlarged turkey while the dog enjoys an enlarged dog treat. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.